Now that we have Gus comfortable on the table, we can start the next step in the train retrieve process. We're going to teach Gus hold. Now, the best way that I've found to start this out is by teaching Gus to hold on to my hand. Now, if you're afraid that your dog is going to bite you, um, you could wear a leather glove or something to protect your hand. I'm not too worried about Gus, so I'm just going to put a couple of my fingers in his mouth. And that's going to allow me to hold on to his lower jaw, help him get comfortable with something in his mouth. He needs to feel comfortable with something in his mouth. Uh, uh, uh. Let this go really easy. It's a good thing to have my fingers in his mouth. Okay. Good. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do it again here. We just need him to hold on for a few seconds. And then we'll continue to, to build on that. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Good boy. Good boy. As he gets better at this, we're going to make what's in his mouth larger. More fingers, and then eventually my whole hand. This is going to help him to understand that he can open his mouth really wide uh, 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 and still hold on to things. We don't want him to mess with my hand with his tongue. This isn't quite as comfortable for him. So we're just going to help him through it. Now you can see he's kind of relaxed. And he's holding on to my hand, but he's not biting. Okay. Again, we're just looking for a few seconds there. And we'll continue to build on that. Good. Each time we do this, we want to make sure that his cheeks are out of the way. If his cheeks get in the way, then he's biting himself, and that can't feel comfortable. Uh -uh. Good boy. Now this is having him to stretch his mouth open quite a bit, which is going to be beneficial when we get into bigger bumpers, bigger birds down the road. And a yawn, there it is. Oh. Good. Okay. He's starting to feel comfortable with my hand or something in his mouth. Now we'll be able to move next to um, a smaller object. We're going to use a little piece of PVC. A wooden dowel would work. They actually make different retrieving toys that will work for this pretty well. Um, but it's just important to pick something that we can build off of and help the dog to be successful, but challenge them a little bit. So we're going to help by putting this in his mouth. Making sure to get his cheeks out of the way. Hold. And start to ask him to hold. When the dog drops their head, a lot of times they're going to try and drop it. So if we keep his chin up and his head up, there'll be a less likely chance that he'll want to spit it out. Okay. Good boy. We're using OK for the release. Um, you can use out or drop or whatever you want. We try and keep things pretty simple. Okay is the release for anything in Gus's training. Put it back in his mouth here. Hold. The train to tree process is broken down into a few simple steps. Basically, we have to teach the dog to hold something in their mouth, pick up something on cue, walk around with it, and then release on cue. It's three things that we're teaching the dog to do, which is going to make him, or any dog, a better retriever in the long run.
Oh boy. He repositioned it a little bit to hold it better. That's okay, as long as he doesn't do it a lot. If he's doing it a lot, we'd consider that mouthing or tonguing. And that's one of the things that we should be able to eliminate by doing the trained retreat. Good boy. Okay. Good dog. Now that he feels pretty comfortable holding on to the dowel, we're going to start to add a little bit more of a challenge to this. I'm going to take a few steps back, give him a little more freedom, and see how he does. Hold. Now, if he is to drop it, when I take a few steps back, we're going to use very, very light pressure on the collar to teach him not to drop things. Hold. Now, I have this collar set on a one, which is the lowest level. If he spits it out, he's going to feel that collar until it gets back in his mouth. Now, this will take a little bit of practice sometimes because it's kind of tricky to work everything at one time, but will help him through this. Good boy. Good boy. Just a few seconds. Okay? And then we'll let him release. Good dog. Good dog. Hold. Started to tongue it just a little bit there. So we want to stop that. Okay. Now this is a pretty good first session with Gus. He feels comfortable uh, holding things in his mouth. We move from my hand in his mouth to this little piece of PVC or dowel. And we'll be able to move from here to him holding things and starting to walk up and down the table. We'll show you that next.